actually glue down um, your squares of tissue paper on to the background in order to make a really cool kind of um, kind of like a grid like effect for a really neat background for a collage or a painting so um, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually gonna use glue this time and the glue that we're gonna use come in these little cups that look like this and next to these cups you're gonna find a long paint brush that looks like this. Uh, we don't wanna use a regular painting brush with our glue because it just really could damage the paint brush. Uh, so we're gonna use a glue brush instead. They're a little bit harder, um, a little bit more sturdy, and we use those with the glues. So you would open up your lid, and it's just really a cup of liquid glue. So what I'm gonna do is, with my paintbrush is I'm just gonna kind of paint where I want my square to go, I'm trying to keep a nice, flat, even surface. And then I'm gonna take one piece at a time and it's really up to you if you wanna have it be really nicely aligned, like in a perfect grid or if you wanna have them kind of at angles, it's up to you. So I think of it's like a sandwich. You wanna put your layer of glue on the paper first, put your tissue paper down and then you do another coat, another layer of glue on top. So it's like the glue is your, um, is like your bread of your sandwich, and then your tissue paper is the inside meat of your sandwich. All right, um, so you notice that it's not super gluey right now. It's, um, you can't really see a lot of the white. If you're seeing white on your, um, on your tissue paper, then you're using a little bit too much glue. So you wanna make sure you're spreading it out and getting a nice even coat of glue. And then you just continue that process until you fill up um, all of your space to your satisfaction. Again, you want to start, notice how I'm also wiping the glue on the edge so I don't have an excess amount. I'm not dripping the glue across my paper. I'm placing my glue on the paper first, laying down my piece carefully where I want it, making sure it's really flat and not bunched up. And then starting in the middle of my piece, I'm going to start to make sure it stays nice and flat. It's one of the hardest things is to try to keep these papers flat. All right, then continue on until it's filled up. of the paper as you're making. It doesn't have to be squares. It can be whatever shapes you want. So this is pretty gluey, so we're definitely gonna keep it on the messy mat as we place it to the drying rack. All right, friends, when you're done with your with your brush, you wanna make sure that it does get into a water bucket over um, at either at your table or at the sink, because uh, otherwise the glue will harden and ruin the brush making sure any extra little pieces need to get back into the collage center. You can use your basket in order to carry that back. And then making sure that your glue also has the lid and making sure that the lid is on nice and tight and you can return that to the construction center. And those are the two ways that you could use tissue paper in your art. And I'm gonna go ahead and show this one started to dry a little bit. 
So two very different techniques. Um, the glue technique, your paper will stay. Um, this technique, it actually will um, will dry, and this tissue paper will eventually slush off, leaving a watercolor print um, underneath of it. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more before I take the tissue paper off, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done.